welcome to Arresting Normality. Uh, my name is Aaron. Oh my god. <laughs> Joined as always with Mr. Yawner from Howie Games. Yanni Gogolak. Ya- mm, Yanni. And Yanni. Uh, Cody from Steel Life. He's in a Life. box at the bottom How of the bay. How is life going? The one person that got that joke is going to be very happy. It wasn't me. No, it was mm. neither of you. <laughs> it might have been me. I no, it wasn't. I think so. And uh, everything's going great for everybody everywhere. The it end. was Joel. I'll let you know. Okay. Joel's the only it's... one that's going to get that joke. <laughs> that oh, by the way, we have heard your requests. Um, <laughs> I'll have the Discord set up next week. Why do you sound like an alien approaching Earthlings for the first time? Because <laughs> that's have pretty much how it is. <laughs> And we shall have Discord next week. Could you imagine if aliens came to Earth to make a Discord? They're like, hey, <laughs> add us on our Discord. <laughs> come to our Discord. <laughs> Check out our Instagram. Oh, they would. They too. would have a killer in Instagram. Could you imagine? Alien Instagram? Yeah. It would be the best. Oh my God. It would be, it'd be the only so one good. I follow. Right? Be so, so good. Selfies in front of fucking black holes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> What if it was, like, just really boring, though? They didn't want to take pictures of any of that stuff. Well, then that's a bitch-ass alien. Yeah, then they wouldn't have an Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, because they'd be like, you're ruining this, like, What if, like, the cameras, like, couldn't actually capture images the way... It's alien cameras, dum-dum. That we thought they could. Alien cameras can capture everything at once. They're like, look at this nebula. It's just white because it's so bright. No, it's an alien camera. It's built to look at nebula. <laughs> it is nebula. <laughs> it's nebula built camera. To look at nebula. It is built for nebula. It's In built. space, <laughs> nebula looks at you. <laughs> okay, fucking yeah. It's I'm built for off. nebula. <laughs> uh, see, why can't CTE take fucking Yakov Smirnoff from my fucking brain? <laughs> why do I remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep that one. That's stupid. <laughs> Should be able to select what I forget. Selective forgetfulness. That'd be great. That would be cool, though. Aliens with an Instagram. It'd be it'd be very cool. Could you imagine all the cool shit we'd get from that? Mm. Man, ah, it'd be delicious. You see, like people are releasing all those uh, UFO encounters or whatever, and they're all so stupid and fake. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that yet. People were so excited about the law that came in. Where they had to like release their findings or whatever. Oh, is that why we've been seeing like the the governmental mm-hmm. UFO releasings and mm-hmm. huh. and they're like these videos like undeniable proof. Undeniable. It's like a, a blob on the <laughs> fucking radar or yep. whatever. Like, no, guys, sorry, that's not really proof. No, it's not. Like until someone like comes directly out of a ship that is in clear vision, like. Stop. Yeah. If we ever get a really, really, really good picture of uh, some kind of ship that's very obviously not anything that you would classically define as an alien ship, Mm -hmm. because whatever comes at us, if it really does come at us, isn't going to look like fucking anything you could even imagine, because they're going to have a totally different approach to everything. Because they're a completely different species, not like something, well, that looks vaguely like something I saw in War of the Worlds. Well, they would have to, to have the technology to get here in the first place. Exactly. Everybody thinks it can just be kind of you know, look, similar, looks, but... It looks like a flying saucer. People Ooh. don't understand, you know, physics. Mm-hmm. They kind of I think that they'll similar. just kind of look like Clearly, since we don't understand it, snow. You know? <laughs> what like happened? the ones that you put oh, up yeah, your butt. that. <laughs> What are we putting in our butts? What's happening? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Alien. No, I, th- I think their their Aliens. ships are gonna look just like very very aerodynamic, like like a bullet that you put in your butt. They you don't know, those ones. need to be aerodynamic because it's space. <laughs> well, yeah, but they have to come back into the atmosphere from space. Stupid. Yeah, it's just that I think that's more of the thinking of like normal technology yeah. where like, I don't know if people understand when they're talking about aliens being here, you're talking about things that you can't even imagine right? that has to happen for them to get here because the things are far away in space. Mm-hmm. It's not like so driving what if to it's fucking just Utah. like a <laughs> box. I mean, uh, we've thought of that, though. It's Star Trek, the Borg Cube. 
It's literally just a oh, cube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What if it's a phone booth? Oof, that'd be good. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, and what's his name steps time. out. Yeah. Fucking, oh no, CT has forgotten his name. I can't I remember his name So either. I have an excuse. David Tennant. Yeah. CT has gotten us both, Cody. David Tennant. David Tennant's the actual alien. Yeah, of course. He would be. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, there was like another uh, UFO report of a American Airlines pilot that said something was like hovering over their plane or mm. something. And then it swooped away yeah. faster than you could imagine. And everybody's like, this is all pilot. Like, these people are credible. Wow. Like, why? <laughs> why do we think just because it's a pilot or a police officer mm. that they're credible yeah, and they course. can't make up bullshit? Right. Or they can't see something and be wrong about what they saw? Because the, the the most extreme example that you could do with that Stupid. is like, well, I mean, who do you think is supposed to be the most credible possible person in America? The president. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think know. we've uh, got some evidence to the contrary of that now. <laughs> Just a bit. So. I don't think you have any evidence. Okay. Oh, it's all fake. It's, it's all, it's all fake news. You, you ain't got no evidence, brother. Stop counting the evidence. <laughs> Stop counting. <laughs> yeah. It's, I just never understood that. Because they do... I listen to these paranormal shows because... Why not? <laughs> I don't believe in any of it. But right. they're always like, this comes from a police officer. So you know it's credible. Right. No. Like, if, no. you, if you have to like subtitle it, this comes from a police officer. So you know it's credible. Yeah. You know that it's... No. I don't even know if that guy's a police officer. Right. They're just saying that. Just to I say could it. say it. Hey, guys, I'm a police officer. I'm an like, FBI agent. <laughs> that's what fucking Q is doing on QAnon. Yeah. He says he's a high level government <laughs> official. Fucking no, he's not. He's some fat kid at a keyboard. Yep. Like Guaranteed. Do people still believe him or did they all like go, oh, <clears throat> oops. Well, the hardcores are still there's still like some hardcore QAnon Trumpy It'll guys. Always be that way. But I think it they lost a good deal of their following though after the inauguration happened and Biden didn't get pulled off the stage like he was supposed to. What? Yeah. Secret Service actually knows how to do their job. Also, probably no one was actually there to do anything in the first Secret place. Secret Service was the ones that were supposed to arrest him. Oh. Yeah, it was supposed oh. to be a conspiracy. You know, you're, yeah. uh, you're a dude guy. Dude? <laughs> a dude you're, guy, man. We know you're Bro. a dude guy. <laughs> you're a, one of them dude guy persons. Yeah. And then there was also a theory that uh, Biden was just going to step down and make Trump the president again. Yes, because he can do that. Even though that's not at all how that works. <laughs> And if that was the case, why'd he run against him in the first place? Right. <laughs> I just did it to secure his place. Yeah. It's... Travis looks It turns out that we're actually our friends. <laughs> Travis, you want to, like, pay attention to the conversation and stop playing on your computer? I'm not playing on my computer. We can see you, Travis. <laughs> remember oh, remember yeah. that whole we can see you thing? See, this is what you do. He does this all the time, and mm -hmm. he tries to say he's not right. when we call him out on it. Mm -hmm. We can tell that you're disinterested and not paying attention to anything we're yep. saying. I'm and not. also, we can see the reflection of your computer screen in your eyeballs. <laughs> so You're full of I mean, shit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we Actually, we could see the lights change. But, but, now, but now, you know, he's squinting. Yeah, so squinting. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you, you mother thick. Yeah. You mother thick. Oh, you guys could be like naked and masturbating. I don't know. You guys don't turn on your cameras. No, we're actually holding a conversation together. Yes. We're, we're talking about doing things. our job. Yeah. No, oh, really? You're what staring were you talking computer. about? You don't even know what you were talking about. We're talking about QAnon and yeah. governmental conspiracies. Yeah. And, uh, what's his face? Joe Biden. Bi <laughs> Joe I forgot Pesci. his name for a second there. <laughs> Joe Pesci talking about here. Like, oh, President people, Joe Pesci. President. Uh, that'd be, uh, I'd go for no, it. No, I'd go for See, it. that's what's wrong with this country. No, I'd do it. It's people like you <laughs> that'll go for that. I'd go for it. <laughs> That's how we get Trump. <laughs> that yeah. is how we got Trump. Yeah, that is how we got Trump. Yeah, fuck it. Like now people are like, The Rock should run. Why? <laughs> Fucking why? Because he'd hold a strong America. They know that it's not <laughs> like that. They, do people know that this isn't a reality show? Like, it's actually our lives. No, you're wrong. It is a reality show. God damn it. All of America is now just one big reality show. It's I mean, been this way for a good long time now. It has been, yeah. 
Just live it. No. Live I your don't best want reality. To. We've even elected <laughs> reality show people as our presidents. Yep, we sure have. Yeah. But if if The Rock gets elected, I want him only to wear black turtlenecks with a gold chain. <laughs> and he has fanny to, pack. Yep. He yeah. Has, has to look like that all have the time. Have you guys seen Young Rock yet? Young Rock? Yeah. The new no. TV show? Oh, you guys are missing out. Is it is it Nick 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 Nick? Nickelodeon. No. No, it's not. No, it's okay. uh sounds like a Nick show. No, it's on um NBC. Okay. Well it's not on Fox. Which one is the Peacock thing? Yeah, I think that um, is NBC. Okay. I that think that's one. it. Yeah. Pu- no, that's PBC. I watch it on- is it? Or no, that's not. PPC. PBC. QBS. QBS. Sorry. <laughs> QBC. ARP. <laughs> OPP, <laughs> yeah, you know me. <laughs> Again, Joel got that joke. <laughs> Don't know if anybody else did. Oh uh, fuck. Uh, no, Young Rock, man. It's about the the Rock when he was young. No shit. Yeah, clever. I know. It's it's a complicated title. Clever girl. Yeah. I've only seen one episode so far. Was he young? He was young. Wow. And he was the Rock. Whoa, it's weird. That's cool. It's good though. It's <laughs> is not it like good, but a it's documentary, good. or is it oh, just it's one like, of those? It's so it's like. Uh, did you guys watch Everybody Hates Chris? Yes. No. It's like it's well, Aaron. He's not listening anyway. So um, I'm listening. <laughs> <it's like that. laughs> I've just never watched it. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's stories of his life mm-hmm. exaggerated, sure, and made into a sitcom. It's like that. Hmm. That's kind of fun. It's pretty cool. It's all in Hawaii. Huh? It's in Hawaii? No. Right? No. That was from Hawaii. Uh, he, Does the character who plays him try to accurately like, portray him, uh, or are they just silly? Because uh, I'll answer your question in a second, but I was okay. finishing up Aaron's question that you didn't hear because you're listening so intently. Teach us. Um, <laughs> Teach us your ways. Uh, I think he was born in Hawaii, but they moved around a lot because uh, his dad was a wrestler. Oh right, Rocky that's, Johnson. So yeah, that's a very dumb thing that I should have remembered. <laughs> so the, da- uh, the Rock's uh, name's dad, or the Rock's dad's name is Rocky Johnson. Mm-hmm. That's why he's Rocky Maivia because he took his dad's name when he went into wrestling. I didn't know Maivia was his last name. It's not. It's not. It's Dwayne <laughs> it Johnson. Everybody last knows name. that. Oh, God damn it, Travis. Are you okay? <laughs> What's Mayavia coming from then? High Chief Peter Mayavia, his grandfather. Also a wrestler. It's a stage name, buddy. Yeah, he took Rocky from Rocky Johnson and he took Mayavia from Peter Mayavia. They do it all the time in wrestling. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. The more you know. Anyways, it's a pretty good show. Yeah. yeah. And the kids, they got to play him, like, look like a little rock. So he jacked as fuck. Well, there's, uh, they do like three different eras. And one of them's jacked as fuck. One of them's like pretty built, like okay. a college kid, oh, right, but like yeah. big. Mm-hmm. And then one's like a teenager. And I think one's like pretty damn young, oh, like okay. a little kid. Huh. But uh, it's a pretty cool show. So they it's- had to get three different actors for this show. Does it jump around in the timeline or something? Jump yeah. around. Jump. Yeah. Jump. Well, I've only seen the one episode, Sorry. but it, it did all three of them. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it did all three of them in the one episode. That's cool. So it show it's like, it tells a story from each timeline, I think. Huh? So I can want to watch it. What's it on? <laughs> God fucking, fucking damn you're not doing a lot for your <laughs> argument that you're listening, bud. <laughs> NBC. Remember I said the whole Peacock thing? Oh, yeah. PBS, PBC, OBP. <laughs> OBP, QBC. you know me. It's not Fucking... on anything else but that, though. That's kind of dumb. It's on streaming services. Why would it not be? Why would it be on more than one network? Because streaming Usually services. Usually a network has I don't their show pay on for their a network. network. It's on Peacock. Yeah, but I don't pay for Peacock. Isn't it Peacock free? <laughs> I think it's free if you watch commercials. Bruh. Is it? Yeah, I don't. I pay for people. Because <laughs> commercials, commercials are bullshit. <clears throat> That's a pretty cool show, though, but you guys haven't seen it, so there's no point in talking about it anymore. I mean, we had a pretty good conversation about it regardless. I mean, decent. So, yeah, yeah, decent. Wouldn't, I don't think it would have changed anything. That's a cool show. Cody's I like, just, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> well, I, you guys don't watch the things I watch, so I can't have fun. It's okay. We're all excited about different things. Travis likes rainbows. I do. And Travis is frozen. Travis is very frozen right now. Am I frozen? 
Yeah, yeah you are. You, you're very happy about you're it. Though. Super stoked about it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh fuck. stupid camera! I'm gonna stupid. have to buy a new battery. I'm gonna order a dummy battery today. I thought I did, and then I didn't. Cool. Can we he go like on went with to do it, and then he didn't. Thing now. Ah, there he is. So, um, yeah. I was uh, me and Jess and Cody have been discussing things for videos and such. And, um, I'm, I'm glad that's to, the direction that went in. It wasn't going to go in any other direction. There's I no promise. Another way for it to go. Um, <laughs> uh, and one of the uh, the things because we were we were talking like a lot of surrealist uh, style ideas, and then I'm like, you know what? I I want to get inspired, so I bought a uh, a, a book Bag on uh, Salvador <laughs> Dali. <laughs> Sorry, I liked that. <laughs> Not inspired. You know, I wanted to get inspired, so I went out and bought a bag of weed. I got me some. Because that's totally what Aaron would say. Yeah, it's definitely what I would say. A bag of weed. That would make me laugh so hard if that's actually what happened, though. That would have been amazing, but it's not. It's it far. It wouldn't have been productive. It's very different from that. Yeah. I, I bought a book on Salvador Dali with like all of his Who paintings. That? Oh, I'm guessing he's a painter. <laughs> yeah, you recognize here. I can, I'll bring it up real quick. Um, uh, because I, I feel like I know the name. I can't remember why though. Oh God, all the stuff. <laughs> in the way. He's trying to look it up. Everything's in his way. I need like a third monitor up here. Yeah, that's what you need. More things <laughs> to do. be on your desk. I know, right? I have way too much shit. Uh, ah, this is a famous one. Do you have just a bunch of shit on your desktop or something? I always have a bunch of shit on my desk. You shouldn't do I that. I know, you probably can't see oh, it. Oh, I've but, seen that one before. But that's his, his super famous painting. Yeah, the melty clocks. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and but he has so much more than that. And also, like, fucking mustache. I hate him. I hate him so <laughs> much. Fuck that guy and his stupid mustache. I want to see the mustache now. Somebody well, send Google me the mustache. It. You're already on all, your fucking computer. All you computer. have to do is just Google Salvador Dali. I'm not. And I'm, all I'm doing is listening to my conversation. I sure Travis, you are. we can are. see you. I, shut up. Salvador <laughs> Dali. Anyway, he has like a bunch Dilly of Dally. really <laughs> cool... Dilly Dally. Uh, really cool uh, surrealist style painting is throughout all of his years and they get like they start off like surrealist but like not totally uh, like defined and then towards his later years they're like super super crisp mm. and crazy and they look incredible and the, some of the the where's the uh, melty clock one fall in that? Uh, er- earlier early right? yeah relatively early uh, but my it's god, it's a mustache it that clocks? I would have just to no, piss Cody off. I, think. Was, I think it actually was called like the melting clocks. Or uh, something I mean, like that. it's pretty obvious. It is pretty obvious. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it was it's because one of the, at that time no one done anything like that ever. Yeah. So it was had just a mustache like, I, that crazy. It, it can just be. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty crazy mustache. That mustache, like, go fuck yourself with that mustache. <laughs> Why do you hate the mustache so much? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> You have a mustache like that, you're an asshole. Come on. No, no, that's not true. How? Because How can you have do something like that to your own face? Because that was like 1940, and Hitler was a thing. You can still be in. <laughs> you can still be an asshole. In that's that's the Hitler asshole did have mustache. a silly mustache. I'm just gonna... He had a bad one, too. Yeah. Doesn't mean every other mustache is not bad. Just because one mustache is bad doesn't give okay to all the other bad ones. <laughs> Could you imagine growing mustache? out your mustache that long? Could you imagine no. waking up in the morning with your mustache and with no hair product in it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you sit there and you, you twist it and you pull it out. Great. No, it's just I'm like hanging down asshole. over your lips like a little Fu Manchu, but on your upper How many times set. do you think he was sleeping and breathed it in? Oh, many and times. And woke up choking to death on right. his own dumb or, mustache. Or he cleaned it and he was like, <laughs> and just <laughs> his nose. Yeah, yeah. Like he had to have a lot of near-death experiences with that fucking mustache. <laughs> That's stupid. I wonder if he was that ever walking around mad. in like old-timey New York, because I imagine that's where he's from. Um <laughs> New York. <laughs> and like accidentally bump into people <laughs> with his mustache. He pokes some eyes out with that bad boy. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you'd have to be very close to somebody. That's fucking. But. No, that thing was hanging fucking 15 feet off his face. <laughs> it's like it went straight up. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's really he bad. Was he Lorax was the Lorax before the Lorax was invented. <laughs> the fucking Lorax. 
This is where oh. he got the idea for the Lorax. Shit. Look at the Lorax. Look Doesn't the Lorax have a crazy ass mustache too? Let he me does. See. Yeah. He does. He does. I think so. Oh yeah, he's the Lorax. Well, maybe not. That's just more bushy. <laughs> but anyway, I think the Lorax has a cop stash, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he has a cop stash and like yeah, and kit, small kittens for eyebrows, really. Yeah, small kittens. They're bushy for eyebrows. Okay, okay, fair enough. For anyway, eyebrows. if anyone wants to see some really fucking cool art, uh, <laughs> look at Salvador Dali's mustache. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's he great actually art. painted a lot of his pictures with his mustache. I don't yeah. know any of his other ones other than that one you just showed me. Well, I, I can show you the book. I'm sure I've seen a lot of you, them. You've probably seen a couple. The Melty Clock one's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. I bet Sammy's you've probably seen awesome. a few. Oh, you have. He, he's uh, he's, seen he's a rock star. You know? uh, no, he has so many. Yeah. And there's a lot of really good ones in there. And very right. few of them are famous. Do you have the bad ones? I want to see his bad ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Didn't he incorporate, like, his face into a lot of them? Yes, he did. See? Asshole. He's full of himself. Yes. I I can tell by the mustache. Like, is he the dude... Is he the dude that's riding the snail? (laughs) Or, no, he's the snail. What? He's a snail in one of them? I want to see this. I don't remember seeing that one, but I'm not discounting it, because I do know his work. How... I yeah, there's a the, there's a lady the all of the high. Yeah, all yeah. of the there's high. A, <laughs> there's a lady riding him in like a, in a dress, and he's a snail. I'm pretty sure. Well, I got to find out more about this guy. And maybe I do actually vaguely remember this now. I think it's in the book because I have the book of his entire. I got to find out more about this guy now. The mustache, the, the high paintings. This mm-hmm. guy's amazing. And he took a picture of uh, a bunch of naked ladies in a way that they looked like a skull. And it was really interesting and also very weird. What the fuck? Okay, but it was I'm a looking very it up now. convincing Salvador skull. Dolly, naked lady skull. <laughs> yeah, of course that'll get him to Google. Of course, yeah. Nudes. <laughs> nudes. I gotta see the nudes, bro. He was like, oh, send yeah. nudes and. That's actually right? pretty good. It's really good. Fucking. Uh, did what happened to him? Did he kill himself like all the other painters? No, he died old. <laughs> and by all of them, I mean like the one that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> I think the real reason that that works is his light exposure. Yeah, because he he has it really bright in the front foreground and really dark in the background. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. it's really good. Well, that's cool. Is it is it popping your brain open to more ideas yeah, now? Looking at absolutely. His Holy crap! Weird there's bullshit. some there's some crazy stuff. Things that look uh, like huge, just massive, and these uh, like. Uh, in these environments that are just incredible. And I'm like, I'm very, 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 uh, very excited and, and motivated to get some really cool shit out there. I want to see some of it now. And what I want to do is, uh, it's just totally not really a podcast thing, but <laughs> I want to use real, uh, like go out to like the dry lake bed and then use after effects to repurpose the sky to where it looks like that kind of thing. And then try to, uh, infuse that kind of, uh, really deep textured uh mm. and uh contrasted type look <laughs> and try to tr- to capture that i don't know how the hell we're gonna do it yeah yet, we're not gonna be able to but we'll give it a sh- we'll, fucking shot we will try we'll fucking try we'll fall hard mm. but we're gonna try right <laughs> hey man eventually cool. eventually when we do it for long enough it'll be it'll it'll work i was gonna say i don't think that that'll be too awfully terrible because the sky is static but the camera might not be You're static and we'll have to track things in the foreground and the background oh, or if it's computer to yeah, understand what's be a the sky and what's yeah. not the sky i don't want the video to just be a sky right if it was just a sky then yeah you're right but right. <laughs> we want to do other things yeah but after effects is the way to go and we yeah. have it now so well, we're gonna work on it mm-hmm. it's gonna suck it's gonna have you used awful. it at all yet i have not jess has she's you think? our she's our official after effects monkey and um, she's gotten into it a little bit, uh, but she ha- has to uh, get more used to uh, to Blender first. And she's done a good job with that. And um, she says uh, once she's a little more comfortable with that, she'll start to branch out into After Effects. She's popped into it, and now she just wants some test footage. So cool. we shall cool. see. In other news. Um, Are you going to take naked uh, pictures of Cody to try to get him to look like a wrestler? <laughs> and- <laughs> 
<laughs> and After That'll Effects. <laughs> You use Photoshop for that, by the way. Oh, fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, you can take I, naked videos. I don't think Photoshop. there's any uh, naked pictures on the docket for us. No. no. Not yet, I anyways. Right. don't think you guys are very adventurous. <laughs> oh, look. His shoulders can move like a normal person. That must be nice. <laughs> it is nice. I'm like, oh, um, stretch my shoulders. Anyways, you were going to say in other shoulders. news before he asked if yeah. I was going to be naked. In, in other news... Um, I told Cody this already, but a man walked into my store yesterday and left with seventeen thousand dollars. He had a gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call the police? <laughs> they call the police. <laughs> no, um, came in with uh, fifteen ounces of solid gold, which gold being at seventeen fifty an ounce means he walked away with a lot of money. And was we, he gold member? He was going to buy some stocks. <laughs> <laughs> did he have what, roller skates on he did not have roller skates on but um like that's just crazy you know just walking in hey i, I, hope I gotta he doesn't go. invest them all in stocks that's exactly what he's gonna do mm. it's <laughs> he has if he has like Probably just knows what he's doing <laughs> he, if he has like uh 15 ounces of gold that he said is just like yeah this is my extra spending gold <laughs> spending I, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm concerned about this money. Yeah, this is my spare gold. Yeah, <laughs> it literally was. He's like, if, if if this starts to do what uh, I wanted to do, I might be back with more stuff from my uh, uh, my safety deposit box. Okay, that box. guy's an asshole, too. Fuck that guy. <laughs> spare gold. It's literally, and he had 15 ounces, and the store could only afford to buy 10. That's fucking, I hate that guy. <laughs> So what do you guys do with that much gold? Just put it in a display case and please, like, please don't rob us. We have a lot of gold. <sighs> I mean, pretty much. <laughs> put it in a display case. Please don't rob us. We got all the gold. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, who's going to buy Realistically, that? Realistically, uh, they, they go very fast. Yeah. They go very, People very fast. People buy gold all the time. So, I know you're like new to like investments and you think the only thing to do is to follow fucking memes, <laughs> but some people actually invest in things that, you know, make sense. Real. Yeah. <laughs> like That's gold. not true. You buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Right. Stupid. So if, <laughs> to answer your question, there's no way we're keeping <clears throat> that much money in gold out on the floor at once. <laughs> no. We we have seven uh, Kruger Ands, which are South African gold coins, and we'll have three Maple Leafs and you know, making Kobe, Cody very happy. Um, and one, we'll keep one of those expensive. maple leaves out there, maybe two of them, and we'll keep like two, maybe three of the Kruger ends, and everything else is staying in the time lock case. How much is Good. one maple leaf? One maple leaf is probably going to be about two grand. I'll give you a dollar like, for it. I'm sure you would. That's how pawn shops work, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's worth two do. grand? Dollar. All right. Dollar off. <laughs> See, now I want to know <laughs> why go. he sold to you guys his gold. Because uh, we literally try to pay top dollar. That's uh, that's pawn shops are one of the best places to sell uh, gold and silver. Like mm-hmm. that's when I had silver. That's where I went straight to a pawn shop. Yeah, because we'll try our best to to spend the most that we possibly can on it. Because, You're gonna get the most out of it that mm-hmm. way. Yep. And see, uh, I thought that you guys would be like, okay, we're trying to make money, so what? you know, we're we're gonna give you like seventy five percent. No, uh, gold and silver are some of the things that we can make. We can justify making small margins on just because they move so quickly. You know, if we buy an, an iPad or something like that, you know, we'll pay up for it because people like iPads. Um, but we can't. We have to like make a roughly uh, double our mom money. It can be a little less. That's okay. But with gold and silver, like we can make almost nothing, and it's still okay because we. It just they sell so consistently and so easily that we're allowed to pay up a lot on them. I mean, I so paid, do you guys just like consistently buy that kind of shit if it comes in? Like, even if you're yes. like, I think gold might go down. Yes, you're like, we have to take the risk. It's better to take the risk and you know either break even. Uh, or make almost nothing on it than to not do it at all. You know, just to have it so people can say, oh, yeah, I bought this, you know, this really nice gold coin from the pawn shop. It keeps people coming in. Just like uh, we just bought a PS5 yesterday. Oh. We did. Cool. It's a digital edition, and uh, uh, we paid money for it, something I can't disclose, you know, on a public podcast. You know, $57. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. <laughs> How come you but, can't disclose how much money you paid for something? Uh, just because um, 
it's going to change by the time that this video comes out. You know, it's just one of those things. Oh, okay, I was going to say, because you, you said how much you pay for the gold. Yeah, and that's that's fine, because gold's, um, yeah, it's we paid spot for it, and that's totally fine, and people expect a, uh, an up market on it, but I have no idea what that PS5 is going to be worth by the time it comes out. I have no fucking clue. And I'm actually relatively certain that the gold's probably going to go down by the time that the uh, the gold actually comes out for sale. Mm-hmm. So. so what I learned today is that I should just throw money at gold because it's always a good investment no uh gold will always trend upward but it's Uh, not always consistent uh what you if you really want to get into physical currency go into silver and also travis don't just in like one second decide to throw your money at things right Stop with the memes. And just because we talked about gold, don't buy a bunch of gold. No, like, you're make supposed smart to buy investments, right? <laughs> Do your research, bud. <laughs> Seriously, a whole though, bunch of gold, and then someday you'll profit. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, kind of. He's a fucking underpants gnome. But <laughs> look, okay, <laughs> you guys don't remember those? No, for fucking South Park. The underpants gnomes oh. they stole underpants and oh. their, their plan was uh step one steal underpants step two step three profit <laughs> that's him <Yep. laughs> uh though legitimately uh travis go and if you can get uh american uh one ounce eagles buy those if you can get them for like 30 to 35 bucks a piece buy as many as you can because those are absolutely going to be worth it in silver? Yep. Where would you buy one? Oh my fucking god. Well, pawn shops, <laughs> gold and silver uh, shops, uh, maybe jewelry stores. You could buy them on uh, Atmex, but you probably going to be paying a premium there. Um, but they'll give you brand new ones, which is kind of nice. But most of the time, people keep them in really good shape. But if you can buy them in bulk, get, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars worth. Not a lot, it's just maybe three or four hundred dollars worth of silver and if you can get a little bit more later and silver is almost guaranteed going to be going up because right now it's pretty solidly undervalued it's like at 26 bucks an ounce or something like that and i think it, in the next two or three years it's going to go up to something like 40 uh 40 or 50 so i was gonna say like a and- massive investment but It'll go like, up, not to poop sure. on your pizza or anything, but I've been hearing that silver's undervalued for, like, years. hmm And it, it was at, like, 12 bucks not that long ago, and now it's at $26. It's, it's like anything else, though. Like, it has spikes and it has dips. Mm-hmm. Like, that's kind of how things work. Yep. Yeah. I figured that out with the stonk market. Yeah. Stonk. That's why you shouldn't stonk. follow memes. Hey, no, I've actually made money, so fuck you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you made you did. some money. Good job. And you got out at the right time. So yes. you, you played it smart, buddy. AMC didn't work out for you. Mm-hmm. Um, actually it did. How much? Spike back up. Um Once currently I'm up right? 150 no. bucks on it. I don't think it spiked. Did it spike that much? What's that? Um it was it was at like five or six and now it's back up to nine. Hmm. Oh. You said you and bought it at nine. I did, but when it went down, I bought down, so it lowered my averages. Oh, you bought more. Yep. Double it, um, down on your investment. And honestly, realistically, looking I'm at losing. AMC historically... Take more of my money. <laughs> looking worked, at AMC so, yeah. historically, um, <laughs> there's a, I still on, think it's undervalued right now. <laughs> hey, hang on. Uh, there's yeah. uh, bettors that they think they've figured out betting, sports betting, and it's if you every time you lose, you just double down the next bet. Yeah, and you keep doubling down. It makes perfect that's sense. That's not a good idea. No, but that sounds like what sense. you do. <laughs> You're like, uh, I'm no. losing. Take more of my money, stupid stonk. <laughs> Basically, AMC I know is worth money, and once it starts opening back up, like literally, all they did was announce that New York was going to start allowing AMC movies theaters to open back up, and it went jumped up to nine again. Yeah. So imagine that, when everybody's like, "Oh, hey, the movies are back." But It'll you do j- understand. The stock market isn't always a direct correlation to what things are actually worth, right? Yes, that's why like things can be undervalued. I.e., like, them. like uh, Aaron Silver. What I'm saying, but um, 
but no, honestly, I, I, I do think when it comes back that it will go back up. That's my personal investigation of the matter. And well, if you I do hope not so. believe the same, I, that's fine. No, I, why are you getting offended? <laughs> Because you're like, oh, it's a meme stunk. I was like, well, no. I actually, well, it actually, fucking yeah. is. Don't even act like it's not. Okay. <laughs> you would Listen, not have gotten bought, an AMC bought, if it wasn't for the memes. I bought Sundial before <laughs> those fucking That's games. fine. Are we talking about Sundial or are we talking about AMC? No, but you're just saying anything I buy is a meme stock. That's not what I said. I said, Dogecoin how did AMC work stock. out for you? What? Dogecoin was real. Oh, my but God. It, no, that was a fucking... You're a meme. You're a walking I made meme. money. I made money. <laughs> Did Good I, for was you. It, was it not? But real? try to branch out and not just memes. But it was still a meme. No, it was real. Making money or not, it was yeah. still a meme. Travis, this is what he does, though. You know that. Mm -hmm. He tries to change <laughs> the argument so that he's right of in course. some way. Yeah. When the I argument right, is, I made money. <laughs> you're buying meme stonks. <laughs> no, that's right. God damn it. Mm. Okay. I, I hope mm. the AMC thing works out, but. Right. In, uh, I'm probably wrong, but I think fucking movie theaters are going to be dead in ten years. <laughs> I, it could be. I don't know, but I, I still think I, think I still so. stand by the people are going to want the experience. But we've talked. I about used this. to I'm be like, that guy, but I'm like fuck that now. I, I can sit in my undies. I realistically think that it's going to greatly, greatly, greatly depreciate <laughs> down to where you're only going to have like these super high end luxury that's theaters. What I think, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I think too. That's why I don't think movie theaters, like in general, are going to be a thing. Yeah. Plus, I, I think I they're actually... going to be able to make more money in, in streaming rights, anyways. Mm -hmm. I really do think so, especially like if you if they have like an overarching app, like this is brand new movie app. Like if HBO actually like goes and like, hey, we're going to be the well, movie theater. HBO did that with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers sold all their movies this year to HBO Max, which was smart. Yeah, they're all streaming on there. Not only did HBO Max get like a huge uptick in people uh, buying their shit, yeah, but I'm sure they made a lot of money for uh, oh, Warner yeah. Brothers too, like a shitload. That's out. what I wish. Uh, honestly, what I wish that like some of these movie theater companies would do is be like, "Hey, how can we modernize?" Well, you guys already have ties to like all the major movie companies like just make a streaming platform like oh. where you guys are the shit you know the the problem is i don't think um uh everyone's gonna get on board like all of the major movie production uh, uh studios are gonna get aboard one single thing because everyone mm -hmm. has their own like app basically you know and you know paramount and yeah. warner brothers and uh fucking other universal like all these yeah. other uh companies they're not going to want to all jump on the same thing they're going to want to make one for themselves so then you're going to get like a warner brothers app and a universal app and they're going to all want our own i don't know some of them are making a fuck ton of money by just licensing their movies that'd be yeah if which they could honestly all... that would suck ass if they all were like oh let's each of our like oh the new a <laughs> the new fucking universal movie is coming out we mm -hmm. gotta watch that one you know like right but the like the theaters have nothing to do with that though the the production companies they're selling their movie rights and the theaters they have no leverage in this case like mm -hmm. if amc was like we're gonna make a fucking streaming platform okay cool you're gonna have to pay out the ass to get all these licenses to show these movies yep. still on the streaming service because it's different rights mm -hmm. you can't just you know well it's in my theater i can show it right <laughs> so and you're competing with hbo max and disney plus and netflix and amazon prime and they've been around and they've got the uh, name value in the market already HBO Max is going to crush you <laughs> like, yes they are <laughs> I, so I, you don't think if, if don't... a new platform it doesn't necessarily have to be from a movie theater but um, you don't think that if a new platform was like hey we could pretty much guarantee any new movie that comes out will be here that's what we're saying yeah. they can't yeah. do that because these production companies are going to sell to the highest bidder and there's no way that one platform is going to be able to afford every single production company's new movie the only uh place that has any chance of that is hbo because they've already got a uh, leg They're, up yeah. on it yeah and, and you know what's funny is does anybody remember what hbo stands for uh, for? uh the home, home box, box office. office home box yeah. office so it makes sense right but uh they're the only ones yeah. who have enough money and leverage to possibly pull it off. But they're not even going to go after every movie because that's also like a losing effort. Well, yeah, you'd want, like you don't you want, want like the, the big titles. You wouldn't want like. And you can't guarantee that you're going to get everybody's big title because mm. that's from multiple production companies. Right. And especially with Disney, there's no. And way. you're fucked now, too, because Marvel, I think that's what you're going to say. Mm. Marvel, you're not going to get a Marvel movie. That's all it's on not Disney. not going to happen. Yep. That's they got true. their own. So you're not going to get any of the. <laughs> 
only you thing know, that Star really Wars. sucks is they're going to have to compress it down to like three apps or something like that. Maybe if Hulu could buy a fair uh, bit of their... Hulu's owned by Disney. Oh, they are now? Mm-hmm. Fucking shit, I didn't know that. It's just going to be um, Disney Universe here in a little while. Disney owns everything. I think the other ones will stick around. I just don't think you can... Like what you're saying of having one platform like kind of guarantee that you're going to see the new shit. You're not going to be able to do it. No. Because there's going to be... You know, you're going to shop around for who's going to give you the most money. And Disney is like, we're good. We're not going to get anybody else's movies because yeah. we got Star Wars. We got mm-hmm. Marvel. We've got all these already. And then HBO, they're going to get, I think they're getting more of the, uh, like, R-rated type movies. Yeah. The more, like. Less kid-friendly stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, action like, the little things kinda... was on there. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, like, the more kind of serious, dramatic adult movies. Adult stuff. Yeah. Basically. Porn. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they have porn on there. <laughs> well, on I mean, HBO, it's HBO, they used to. so probably. Well, on the streaming service, though. I don't know. They might. I've never looked for it, so I don't it. know. Yeah, I haven't looked for it either. Uh, like, that I watched the little things on there. what HBO stood for previously. It was Horny Boys Online. Um, online? Uh-huh. <laughs> How long ago was this, Travis? <laughs> um, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know there will always be a market for people that want to go out to the movies because it is like an experience. That's like a night out kind of thing. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think it's going to be like a special luxury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be like it is now where you just go to there's a fucking movie theater every 10 feet mm -hmm. in Vegas or whatever. Yeah. It's not going to I don't think they can sustain it anymore. And actually, I I agree with that sentiment, sentiment, though, is that it eventually will be just like the experience. And so Mm -hmm. you will have to have high-end shit to get people to come in especially when you can buy a a 75 inch like 4k crazy ass tv for not that much money they're so cheap they're like 600 bucks for 4k so cheap now well and i think the biggest thing is you don't have to sit next to other people and you can make the food you want and not marked up prices you know i hate i mean that's what i was saying undies man i can sit in my undies yeah i I don't care about undies necessarily you don't hang out in your undies i mean sure absolutely but i was gonna say if i don't have to hear people eat yes Okay, yeah. That's if, <laughs> if, if I don't have to hear people eat, mm. that is everything. Mm. That is life. I mean, the theaters have gotten better because they got like the bigger chairs and mm. the more space and shit. But it's still, I don't know. It's I'd rather just sit at home. Right. Also, I can pause it and go take a poop. You know, like if I got a poop and it's like at the end of the movie, like mm-hmm. well, how am I gonna know what Batman did to save the day? <laughs> right. Yeah. Pause. Poop. You know? At least nice. you always know that he saves the day. Well, yeah, he's Batman. Yeah. You can't fuck with Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's been Affleck, then you can fuck with him. <laughs> um, <laughs> and if the movie sucks, like halfway through, you can just have sex too. That's kind of nice about being at home. You could do that yeah. in a movie theater too. Uh-oh, um, is that going to be a problem? No. Okay. <laughs> just what? annoying. Okay. Nothing. Don't worry. Am, about I, it. am I frozen again? No, no, no. no, no. 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 Don't okay. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's. Uh, he's got a point there, though. What? If the movie sucks, you can just stop watching the movie and have sex. That's true. It's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Which you could do it other way too, but you might get in trouble. Well, and yeah. I mean, you could do yeah. that in the movie theater. You could. That is the other thing too, though, about watching movies at home. Like, if the movie's bad, I don't feel bad about just like, all right, I'm done with this. Right. And then go to something else. <laughs> yeah, because walking out of the movie, there's like a pressure there for well, you. Yeah, you've already made a commitment in the money and mm-hmm. everything and the time that you've gone over to that place. Yeah, like, people I are like, why watched, is he upset? Why is he I upset? All why is of he it follows. That movie was garbage mm-hmm. from the beginning. How quickly did you do the arm fold? Oh, pretty fast. Like <laughs> 25, 30 minutes? Yeah. And it got to a point where <laughs> Jess was like laying down in the seats because she was so bored of the movie. <laughs> and she looked at me and she's like, can we just leave? I was like, well, it's got to yeah. be almost over. Mm-hmm. We already paid. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Like at that point, like you're like, God, I, I hate this movie, but I do want to know how it ends just so I can see it and know yeah. that I hate it. I already gave this movie like 40 bucks. <laughs> like, come on, I gotta see. That's another thing is movies as it stands right now are not very cheap. No, they're not movie too bad. Are expensive, but man. It's just, the, the ticket and, in and of itself isn't that bad, but the concessions and shit, oh my. The most expensive popcorn in the world. <laughs> yeah. Fucking a bottle of water is like seven bucks. Yeah. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. which like I, that's part of the reason that I, I go to the movie down. theater is to get my fizzy water and popcorn. Mm-hmm. See, we don't do that. No, we never get anything at the movie theater. No, I like movie everybody sneaks popcorn. it in. So it's not even like an experience for me anymore. I used to love going to the movies, but now I'm just it's kind of like an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm old. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm old. And I don't want to go anymore. Right. Like I want to sit at home. I hang out on the couch with my cat and watch a fucking stupid movie. Yeah. Which, speaking of movies, Mortal Kombat's coming out next month. Uh-huh. So excited. Are we going to watch it soon? together? Yeah. Wow, Should we do I didn't that? realize that. I don't know. I'm watching it with Joel. So oh, not. yeah, fuck. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already fuck. planned that out. You guys aren't even huge Mortal Kombat fans. I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat fan. Yeah, I might not like be that excited. a fan. <laughs> But I did like I the like movie. That. I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even think you guys would really care about the movie. Actually, I, I really enjoyed the first movie. Oh, yeah? I really yeah, did. I, I like them it. both, even though the second one's terrible. Yeah, Annihilation. Yeah. It was fun. So bad, but I like it. It was fun. Yeah. And was uh, fun. I was always bad at the games, but I played them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I've always played the games, but... You got okay for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't, you weren't mm. no Corey, but... Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> you got to the point where you could beat Corey every now and then if he wasn't paying attention. Yeah, if he, if he wasn't, wasn't if he wasn't using his main character. If he wasn't, yeah, if he I'll wasn't see. using what, what was it? The Meat Man. Yeah, oh yeah, it was Meat Man. Meat Man. Yeah, Meat Man. I think it was meat just man. Meat. I think his name was just Meat. It, it was honestly. Meat. Yeah. Meat. Meat. This is a Mortal Kombat character. Yes, it is. I don't. Remember yes, this. it was from Mortal Kombat. It was from the PlayStation Two one. Um, yeah. Oh God, what was it? I don't remember what it was. Armageddon. Was it Armageddon? It was oh. Armageddon. I don't remember meat, but you know, meat. my brain's dying. I think he so. was a DLC mm. character only. Also, that DLC in PlayStation 2? Yeah, I didn't think that was a thing. Oh, <laughs> PS3. Sorry. I think it was PS3. <laughs> no, was it I think PS3? it was PS2. It was PS2, dude. If it was Armageddon, it's oh, PS2. Then, yeah, it was, I remember yeah, that. Oh. It was definitely PS2. I remember it being on but PS2. I don't remember meat. Then there, there's no, no way that there was a DLC on that. I no. I feel like he was no. a special, like you had to. Buy he was it a some special way. character, and you didn't have to buy it, Travis. You just have to beat it programming. With yeah, you had to uh, unlock him by doing something. Yeah, crazy. that's what's happening. He's programmed to think like, well, it's just a DLC. You just buy right. it. You got to buy it. Back in the day, you used to have to like do special things to you unlock had, the character. You had to actually be good at the game in order to get yeah. the cool stuff, <laughs> not just pay for it. Yeah, I mean, not necessarily. You know what I mean? On, on um, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, how you unlocked <sighs> Mewtwo was to play for twenty four hours, and all I did was just leave the GameCube on. That's what everybody did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm the smartest, though. I like how he thought he was the only one that figured that out. (laughs) I can't remember, but one of the characters in that game was a pain in the ass to get. Anyways, you were going to bring up something, I thought? I was. Well, I was just going to talk to uh, Travis here about uh, uh, the the Gitter Fiddle that came into my shop that I thought was cool. (laughs) Oh, you're Martian? Yeah, there's a, a 43 Martin... Uh, that came into the store, and I am so very excited to see it because it's so fucking cool. Um, I think the coolest is that it was at Pearl Harbor too. Like that's neat, right? Yeah, it's really really cool. But uh, I I finally I asked Reddit because Reddit is Reddit and they know all things. But I went onto the R slash Martin guitars on there, and I'm like, hey, um, you know, I'm just looking for a approximate. Uh, value that would make sense for a guitar like this and one guy popped on there uh and he's like okay so the list price for something like this in let's say museum quality condition is anywhere from 9500 to 12,000 good lord and he says anytime that you have major damage like you see on the crack on the side of it uh it's gonna at least chop the value by half uh and then you have to factor in from there uh the repair value which he said is it probably over a thousand so uh you can imagine that you should if you could pick this thing up for um 35 to like four grand that'd be an appropriate price Hmm. and then uh because after you get it fixed it'll probably be worth uh five or six and you don't really want to worry about that too much because if you're gonna you know buy it for you then uh you're buying it because you like the sound of the guitar. Don't buy it for an investment. Buy it because you like that guitar. <laughs> and um, 
In other words, yeah. guess what Aaron's buying? <laughs> but what if what if Elon Musk tweets about that guitar? <laughs> well, then it's going to go it's up. It's worth more. Yeah, it's going to be worth like fifty million dollars. Yeah, because Elon yeah, knows everything. Exactly. Yeah, and I then, think that like, that's the an next week statement. it'll be worth nothing. Yeah, not a penny until he tweets about it again, mm-hmm. and then it'll be worth like four pennies. Right? Yeah, of course. And then it'll fall. Mm-hmm. It's weird how things work. It is weird. It's, it's trippy. <laughs> Yeah, but if you sell it at the right time, yeah, this right. is a wise investment. Have you? Did you want to say any more about the guitar? No, no, you totally can. I, it's cool. It's just it's a super cool guitar. I'm very very excited. It sounds it amazing. Cool, and yeah. you're gonna have 18 more guitars in a week. Well, but... the problem is, I'm, <laughs> I I just bought my tree for all my guitars, and so now you need a tree for your tree. I I think I need a second tree. Yeah, yeah, I think you do too. Yeah. I think I said that when you got this one. It's like I I didn't realize that once can I put, put the tree together up, and just make one giant tree. No, that would be incredibly dangerous. That would be a guitar forest. Also, <laughs> no, a no, no, no. If you will. That, that's only one tree. A guitarist. Once I buy a second tree, that's the beginning of a forest. Yeah, if you get another one, that's that, that's no, what he I was, thought I was talking no, about. No, he said that you put it on the tree, oh, so it's like a bigger tree. No, I thought that's just one tree. Yeah, I was saying just get another tree. Now you got a forest. You know what's funny too is I don't think made that's a wood. forest. That's more of a. Uh, it's yeah. like literally a, a forest. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's I think a it's colored more, tree, uh, like a little path. You know, put one higher than the other. It's a fucking forest. Fuck you. <laughs> I like the forest. <laughs> and, you know, and we gonna have like one on either side of the doorway. So you just, you're greeted <laughs> by the guitar forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's be, pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. But um, I was going <laughs> to, I want to bring this up before we're done. Uh, Cause Travis will probably dump all his money into this. Uh, <laughs> it's called NBA top shot. Have you guys oh, heard about this? I need this? to buy it. No. Yeah. I, you're gonna in a second. Um, no, I've heard of it. That's kind of old. You've heard isn't of this? It? Oh no, it's not old. So you don't know what I'm okay, talking about. Okay, maybe I don't know what you're talking about then. <laughs> it's mm. fairly new. Um, so it's the newest thing that all these idiots are dumping their money into because they can make so much money. Oh my god, this yeah, is the next thing. Elon's gonna tweet about it, <laughs> right? Uh, fucking. So you're buying. It's a collectible, and you buy packs. Is it digital? It's digital packs that you're buying. Mm. And what you're buying is like Uh-oh. a clip of a basketball play. So it'll be like LeBron James dunk. It's an NFT. Yes. These are NFTs. Yes. Oh, okay. That's what the, <laughs> dude, these things are going insane right now. Yep. So- Somebody bought a, I think it was a LeBron James mm-hmm. top shot for like two grand. Yep why you know i i actually know about nfts uh because jess is in that world right now you know she's uh they're they're associating these it's so basically what it is is, is a is a digital representation which is funny because it's already digital but it's of cr- cryptocurrency they put mm-hmm. cryptocurrency into these things and make it intrinsic and then you buying it and so you're basically buying whatever cryptocurrency it's associated with so you can buy a, a part of a of a of a bitcoin associated with it and then people are basically just buying the bitcoin but Mm -hmm. it just happens to be associated with this either picture or like gif or whatever (laughs) it happens to be so and i've been seeing this too and people uh in like the blender world and in the uh the the digital like the cg world they're making like really cool art fucking awesome art and then they're infusing it with bitcoin and then so they're actually able to sell this stuff and make a little bit of a profit which is really cool because you can't it's really hard for people to make a profit on like digital yeah. art right now. And that this is, is cool. It's so cool. I don't Where understand. Where the fuck the are NBA they getting stuff? the cryptocurrency to infuse it with? They buy it? Yeah. That would be so expensive. Well, I mean, you can buy part of a Bitcoin. Yeah, you don't buy it like a whole Bitcoin. More, mm-hmm. Yeah, but to make anything substantial, I mean, you it's don't a, make it substantial. Make maybe it th- it's tied to Dogecoin. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's worth like negative four cents. So. <laughs> they give you money when you ask for one. Right. Um, I just don't understand the NBA one. Uh, people are excited. It's mm-hmm. stupid, though. Yeah. Like, it, It's going to be the same with anything, though. Like, if you <sighs> wanted, it, there's going to be like really cool pictures of celebrities regardless, you know? And if, like, if you can infuse it with something that's worth money no matter yeah. what. See, that's, this is the thing I don't get about it, though. Like, I get the infusing the thing and it's worth something. Mm-hmm. The thing with the NBA, like, collectible version of it is, like, people are paying more for the same thing of, like, LeBron. Right. Yeah. Instead of, like, uh, Terrence Ross. Sure. 
So like LeBron's selling for however many, like thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And then you can get the thing that's the same thing for like, Four dollars because well, now, but people that was are buying all thinking. these for like Zion Williamson. And they're like, oh, I'm gonna hold on to it. It's gonna be worth so much money in the future. It's not though. Like it is infused with something, like you said, that mm. is, I guess, worth something. I think crypto is really weird, mm, and I don't quite weird. get it. But why are you paying so much fucking money because it's fucking Zion dunking? It makes no sense. The collectability is not there for anybody other than hardcore NBA guys, I think. Yeah, I mean... Right? Yeah, no, no. You're, well, and that's the thing is, like, what it. exactly yeah. makes it collectible? Like, is that clip something that you can't get? It, like, it's collectible for the... It's collectible for the exact same reason that Yu-Gi-Oh cards are collectible. It's because... people want to think they are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, it's totally just whatever someone yeah. is going to pay for them. And LeBron James Yeah, is but that's the thing name. is, like, I could reproduce... Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Whatever clip, the, it just wouldn't have crypto yeah. associated you, with it. You could, but uh, they're also going to be made by specific people, and that cryptocurrency associated with it is going to have a very specific code in it with it that is trackable, and you'll yeah. always know who did it. And if this is like the the certified top shots thing, then that's how it's going to be done. You could yeah. remake it and do something that looks identical in every way, but it won't actually be a top shots one. No, we get that. I think the thing is that I don't get, and I think what Travis doesn't get also is like, that's cool. But if that's what you're into it for, mm -hmm. then go get cryptocurrency paying right, more like, just because it's LeBron associated with it instead of Zion or right. whatever. That makes no sense because you can watch him dunk on YouTube. Right. But, like, <laughs> yeah, you can watch that same clip. It's just not going to have crypto associated with it. So, That's but what it's we're literally saying. the same thing. You're paying it's more nothing, for the same amount of crypto. Mm -hmm, you it's, are. In other and words, it's, it's nothing exclusive. It's nothing that you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. get without that. Correct. Yeah, but it's stupid. You're also buying something that's uh, uh, arguably, arguably artistic. It's okay. Uh, can I, I? I'm going to just put two cents on it. I do not think that, as far as for collectible value, that those will hold anything. I don't think so. It depends. I it think depends once the hype if, dies down, no one's going to give a shit about a clip of LeBron. Dunk. Yeah, maybe I, honestly, not. I'm right unless, there with you, Cody. <laughs> unless yeah. NFTs like stick around, I don't know if they I will. I think NFTs. I think that's separate. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that all NFTs are stupid. Oh, that's yeah. not good. I agree with Eric, uh, with Cody on that one, too. <laughs> uh, Cody, I'm just agreeing with you today. I'm just going to be Yeah, I don't know what's Cody happening. Guy. But it's... <laughs> I think <laughs> NFTs probably have some kind of value. It's just this one makes no fucking sense to me. And to over-inflate the value that ridiculously much yeah. for like what's, a third of a Bitcoin. What's the percentage as to what they're, they're uh, over overvalued what do you mean like how much over the cryptocurrency value are people oh paying it's for? just dude i don't even think people know that cryptocurrency is a th involved with this <laughs> people are buying these clips so what it is you can go to nba top shot you buy packs from them this is like a thing nba is doing hmm. you buy packs from them and it comes with clips then you can go on the marketplace and you can buy and sell from other people so it's just an open market so people are just buying what you're asking for it basically if they want it they'll they'll just buy it there's no like actual value attached to it when you buy it that's weird that's the strangest goddamn thing that's what i'm saying yeah it makes no fucking hmm. sense because some of the other ones they make sense to me like you said if they're creating it they're putting their own art into it you're mm -hmm. buying like an original thing this is just a fucking clip of a guy like i looked at some of them because you know I almost bought one because sure. I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. I like collectible things. Right. And I looked at it and it's like a guy hitting a jump shot. That happens 8,000 times a game. Mm -hmm. Why do I need to overpay for that? <laughs> if I want crypto, I'll just go buy crypto. No, I, mean? I do yeah. agree That's what with, I'm confused. Right. I do agree with Aaron in some regard that like things only have value because of what people give it. Oh, well, that's completely um, true. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, like, things like Yu-Gi-Oh!, the reason that they have value is, one, they're usable in a way other than just, like, oh, I have a video clip. Like, you, if that makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Well, I think there's... Should they I be valued we, that high? No, not at all. <laughs> it might be just because we're, like, biased because we actually like these things. Oh, <laughs> Travis's camera's fucked. Um, oh, is it? Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Um... But um, oh boy, it's really fucked. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I took a picture of it and sent it to you on Facebook because I was I'm, like, oh, he's got to see this. I'm, I have got to buy a new battery. What is going on? <laughs> I don't even. OK, there it goes. <laughs> but yeah, what he was saying, like, and Hi. we're biased because it's things <laughs> that we like. But mm -hmm. there is some kind of collectability to, like, a Pokemon card or a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Mm -hmm. This is right. literally just a clip of a thing that keeps getting replayed on everything. You can, I can go find it right now on YouTube. Right. Like, the value of the crypto is not worth what these people are paying for. It. There's Definitely no not. fucking way. And it's not a like a game. For more than. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a game. Like where you can like, life. oh, I, if game. I get, if I get this clip of LeBron, then I get to use him on my basketball team or something, you know, like there's nothing yeah. you could do with it other than it has crypto value and I can sit here and watch this stupid that, little clip 20 billion times. That does, <laughs> that does kind of lead again into the, it, we have to, if you want it to be associated with something that's uh, valuable, it has to be associated as art. That's the only way that it works. Yeah. Well, and that's and that's why feel... I agree with your statement that like um, that the um, NFTs is that what you call them? Yeah. Yes, yeah, would be around because then you're getting something that's unique. Like this is a picture produced yeah. by this person that you can mm -hmm. only see from buying this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, like um, any art, though, you're going to be able to look at it other places, just like the Mona Lisa. Someone owns that. Well, no one owns it. I think the government owns it. Um, <laughs> the French government. Anyway, not important. Uh, you're going <laughs> to see pictures that are owned by people, right? You can right. look up any of Salvador Dali's pictures, as we were talking about him. Anyway, yeah. But the person who physically owns that thing has something special, yeah, right? That's way different than mm. a clip of LeBron dunking. Right, because that's I, not even the I, original I, clip. That's just a... Because also... You LeBron know? dunks a lot. Yeah. Like, he dunks like 10 times a game. So LeBron what the James. fuck do I care? LeBron, LeBron James. James. <laughs> That's what, I just don't understand why people are dumping their money into it. Yeah, it's, I don't get it either. I think I'm it's with another you. one of these things that people are just bored or whatever, and they're just throwing money at things. It's another idea for people to make money. And I look, you can look at the market, the open market, and you can see what people are buying these things for. Because mm -hmm. when I was looking at it, I was messing around with it. This one clip of a guy hitting a jump shot, it was like 18 bucks was like the lowest asking price. I was looking at it and you can look at what it's been selling for. Like five days before I was looking at it, somebody bought it for uh, $2,400. Wow. I can go buy the same clip right now for 18 bucks. So. But that guy feels there's silly. There's no value in these things. Of course not. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. They, the company sells them for 10 bucks mm -hmm. a pack. So I was going to say, so what are the poll rates like? Should we just go throw $200 at the packs and sell them no, to idiots? No, or? no, no, no. That's what I said. Do not throw your money at this because I don't think you're going to get anything out of it. But of course, Travis is like, oh, meme. Mm -hmm. I want it. Stupid for the meme. I, no, if I could make money off of stupid people, but I don't know what the poll I think rates we are. Missed our, uh, I think we already missed our uh, opportunity on that, seeing as how the one clip sold for 2400 and then three days later sold for eighteen. Right. Definitely missed a boat on that. Yeah, but if you hey. get a LeBron James. LeBron James. Yeah, it's selling for a lot. But yeah, you gotta get a LeBron James. It makes no fucking sense to me. I, I don't know. Art. This world is getting dumber. Silly. By the second. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty silly. Look at my new fucking clip. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, with that being said, I'm going to dump all my money into fucking Top Shot. Yeah. <laughs> top Shot. <laughs> so just to recap, what we've Go learned on. today is when you get your Bernie books, because Bernie's sending them out soon. Um... You got to buy as much gold and silver as you can and digital basketball clip card things. Yes. <laughs> yep. Just that. As much as you can. All your Bernie bucks. Don't worry about the gold or silver. Those are Bernie physical Sanders things. Bernie approves stupid. of this physical message. I talked to stupid. him shortly before the podcast and he wants you to know, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Top <Yep>. shot. <laughs> Top shot. All the way. 100%. That's so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to top golf for my birthday. Just so you know. Bernie oh, for 2025. Yes, however that 2024? works. 2024? 2024. 24. 24? Yeah, Bernie for 2024. <laughs> Top shot. Shut him up. Okay. Um, 
If top you like this video, don't forget to like this video years, and subscribe to this channel. 100 years and top do shot all the things Bernie. that make us happy. And Buy again, if you're interested in the Discord, Sell please hit us up because we will wheel. do something about that. I Bernie think we're already proves. working on it. We appreciate loves you. any interest that has been there. And of Get course, rate five stars all the places that you can't. Spend them yeah. on and the we will see you in the next one. Make Bernie proud. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>